Hey guys, welcome back to the tavern. We're jump right into this day three of our 24 pack advent calendar American Bruins. All right, let's find number three. You would think they're lined up, but they're not. There it is. What do we have today? West Coast IPA, India Pale Ale, 6% alcohol. Yesterday we had the American Pale Ale, and then the day before that we had the, what was it? American Wheat Ale. So, let's find this one on the back here, the West Coast um, India Pale Ale, and see what it says. Um, there it is. West Coast, once revolutionary for being high in hops and boldly bitter, the clear, dry West Coast IPA remains a pillar of modern craft beer. Our version of the influential sub-style is dank with more pine-forward notes than a Christmas tree. All right, and if that's true, I'm probably not going to enjoy this one. The, if it's more dank than a Christmas tree with the pine notes, I just don't think it's going to be for me. But we're going to try it and find out. Me and Flash over here just chilling. All right. So, color-wise, really nice caramelized color. Definitely reminds me of tree sap. Not wrong there. Nose. It doesn't smell like Christmas, but it sure does smell like hoppy pie. It does smell sweet, though. It does say it's bitter or dry, but it does smell really sweet. So, citrusy. This one has more of a, like a grapefruit smell. The one yesterday had that lemon or that uh, orangey. This one's more grapefruit. So, it might be more dry and bitter. That grapefruit will really dry out a drink. So, cheers. Let's see how it is. Oh, that's bold. That is really bold. Oh, full flavored hops, for sure. Um, very forward as well. It sits on the front of the palate, and it kind of lingers on the back, but it sits mostly in the front. But it lingers, and then it kind of dissipates. It goes away. It doesn't build, um, and or it probably build, but it doesn't stay as heavy on the first sip. But I'm sure by the time we get to the end of this, it's going to be real thick hoppiness. So, not mad at it, though. And I'm not a huge heavy hop fan, but this is really good. Flavor-wise, I would like to say it's kind of like raisiny, maybe muscadine. Um... Pine tar, obviously, you know, it's, it's definitely very pine tree sap, you know. So there's a thickness to it that's like caramelized molasses, but not bad at all. I really do enjoy this. Three for three so far on great brews coming in um, from a uh, product of Wisconsin. Um Minhas, Minhas Brewing. So they're doing really, really well. I love this so far. There's still some crazy flavors on here. There's a cranberry, a hells, and a brown, and a winter. I'm hey, there's a lot on here. I'm excited to try them. Three for three days. And they've all been really, really good. So cheers. <sighs> wow, that's amazing. Usually, when you drink an IPA, it really kind of like builds up as you're drinking, especially if you're trying to drink it fast. It kind of feels like there's a blockage because it's a thicker drink and it builds up a lot of flavor real quickly. This one is so smooth. It goes down really nicely. You don't feel it in the upper side of the stomach. You feel it more in the lower side. It's genuinely really, really good. I love you guys. Remember, we buy it so you guys don't have to. We try it for you so you guys don't have to. And... It's Christmas, so 
enjoy a drink on us. You know, it's an advent calendar. We got, what, 21 more to go? And I'm so excited to see what's left inside this box. Again, shout out to my friend Ray for buying this for my birthday. I love it. Love you guys. Thank you. Welcome to the channel. So till later, till next time, till always, I'm Justin. Welcome to the tavern. Let's hit 2K subs. You guys are amazing, and I will see you guys then.